Hey YouTube, happy Sunday. Um, it's me once again. Um, I pretty much just thought I'd just go ahead and share my surprise with you. So I upgraded to the Galaxy S5. Now I know in my previous video I said I wasn't going to do that, but you know what, since I switched my phone company I thought I would. Um, and you know, I realized that it's really not much of a difference in size. I think that this is just a 5.1 inch screen. And so I said, you know, why not just get the Galaxy S5? I mean, try something different. So anyway, I did that. And I switched to T-Mobile. T-Mobile. And um, I love Verizon because I felt like I should just go ahead and get the unlimited data. Because, you know, I a lot of times I may use my GPS and stuff, you know, because I, I like to travel. So I said, why not just switch to T-Mobile? And plus, T-Mobile, play uh, they pay your termination fee if you leave your company. And I think it goes all the way up to $350. So, um yeah, let's just go into, you know, the box. Oh, where here's the cover. And it shows, you know, what comes with the phone. So it is 4G LTE compatible. And it's a smart remote. It has a smart remote um, function on here, which means you can control your TV. And also it has a heart rate monitor and the Android operating system, as we all know. And it also has, um, just like I said, a 5.1 inch screen. And uh, it's 2.5, has a 2.5 gigahertz quad core processor. And it comes with a 16 megapixel rear facing camera. And it also comes with a 2 megapixel front facing camera. And then you can also record in 1080p. So it looks like it's a pretty high tech phone, right? I mean, I would say. <clears throat> All right, and so let's just look at what comes with the phone. Come out. <laughs> All right, so we'll get rid of this. And we'll open this little flap right here. So here is the. Um, Looks like the terms and conditions return policy booklet here. And then it also has a little start guide. I guess it teaches you, well, you know, it teaches you how to work the phone basically. So that's what that looks like. And then it also comes with some headphones, which are now flat. The cords are flat now. And I think that's a that's a pretty big change right there. So I'm just gonna zoom into that for you. And then, you know, the earbuds are all the same, come in the same shape, just like they did from the beginning. And um, the charger is not in here because it's, I'm already using it on the wall somewhere in my house. So, oh, I did that wrong. Let me take that out. The flat bin. Okay. So let's just put everything away and then let's get into the actual phone. All right, so here we are. All right, so I have the little finger swipe technique here. Um, so here's my uh, wallpaper. It's just some cherry blossoms. And my case is an otter box. The case was like $35. I feel like it's pretty expensive if you ask me. You know, I probably could have went to Amazon and got it for like, you know, $14.99 or something like that. Or eBay, because eBay has good deals too. Um... So yeah, that's just what that looks like. It's like a hot pink theme going on here with a with the white. All right, so let's turn the phone over. All right, so I have to swipe my hand here in order for it to open so it recognized it. All right, so here's my um lock. No, my lock screen. My home screen. Um, I didn't really change it much. If you go into my Galaxy S4 video, you'll see that it's somewhat the same. Well, the icons are the same, but not the wallpaper. So I have my um, clock widget here. It's like a Hello Kitty thing going on. And let's scroll down. You can just see what type of apps I have. So I have Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, email, contacts, phone, text, and YouTube. Then I have my calendar, but it's not just any type of calendar. Like it, you know, it shows when you're when you're about to have your cycle. But anyway, moving on, and I have the voicemail app that comes with T-Mobile, and I have Kick, and I have Facebook Messenger, and I have Tumblr, and I have Camera, and I have Gmail and Pinterest. Then we come down a little bit, I have my Bible widget. All right, and then next page, I have Google Plus, 
and I have Hangouts, and then I have my photography photography folder. Um, my camera fell asleep. <laughs> All right, so I have my photography folder, and I have Photo Grid, Photo Mira, Insta Size, Camera, Coon Pick, Photo Editor Pro, You Can Makeup, which pretty much you know packs on makeup <laughs> for you. You know, and, and then I have the backgrounds because I like to, you know, change my background every once in a while. So I, that's why I put that, you know, in the photography folder. And then I have Flipgram. Might make me some photo stories. So just decided to download that. And then I have my shopping folder. I have H&M, H &M, eBay, Focus. Okay, eBay, Amazon, Yelp, and I have the Apartment Guide app. Uh, my camera's just being mean to me right now. Okay, so there it is, the Apartment Guide app. Um, I have that because, you know, sometimes I just like to window shop at apartments, you know, so. And then I have my games folder. So I have Skybarger, which is a game where you just, you know, you have to follow a certain order and uh you know that the customer wants and you got to catch the ingredients as it falls then i have checkers family feud Ruzzle, crazy kitchen tiny tower scoops which is where you catch ice cream all day <laughs> and then i have farm hero saga and i have subway surf and word search all right and then after that i just have calculator google chrome and a memory pad all right, and then that brings us back to the main screen. And that is pretty much, you know, what's on my phone. I know that in my uh, my previous video, I didn't really have many screens on my phone just because I was just like keeping it simple or whatever. But this time around, I decided to add, you know, more more icons, make stuff easier to find so you don't have to always go into the, the app drawer down here and you know click on it then keep scrolling and scrolling so anyway yes um i guess i can show you what my text messages look like you know when i text people and so um i have this go sms theme and it's uh let me see what it's called for you guys okay so this is what my go sms looks like all right, and I don't know why it's not focusing. Hold on. All right, so I'm just going to try it anyway. So here's the theme. Go to some mess with a lot of themes going around this time. Um, there it goes. It's focusing. So anyway, let me just show you mine. All right, so I have the honey theme, and that's how I'm getting that on my phone. And I also have the phantom theme and the pink pinky girl theme right there. So yeah, and that is how I get my text messages to look a certain way. And so I guess that just wraps up this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.